Hi guys, Mochi here from Golden Motor. Today we're going to be flashing a Bafang BBSHD controller. So there's a few reasons why someone would want to flash the BBSHD controller or someone might want to. Um, first of all, uh, they come programmed as 52 volt by default and if someone using a 48 volt battery, the voltage meter is not going to show properly. So in that instance, it'd be a good idea to put the proper 48 volt firmware on the controller. Uh, another reason would be to unlock the controller and use all 1500 watts of power. And another reason is if sometimes it does eliminate the error 30 problem that sometimes happens in the controller. So by flashing it, you can get rid of the error 30. So the first step is to connect the wiring harness. If it's not connected, uh, just line up the arrows and push it in. The next step is to connect the USB cable to the display port. Um, same thing, just line up the arrows and push it in. And the third step is to connect the USB cable to the computer. The first thing you want to do is open a browser. Go to goldenmotor.bike. And on the top bar, you'll see a support button right here. Go ahead and click on that. And then downloads. And then under the Bafang heading, you'll see a folder. Go ahead and download that. Once downloaded, go ahead and extract it to the desktop. Once done, go ahead and close these out. Okay, um, I, okay here's the folder. The first thing you need to do is install the driver. It's already done on this computer, so that's why it's not progressing. But if, okay, there we go. The first file is a 48 volt uh, firmware. The second one is a 52 volt firmware. Um, and this is the application that you need. Okay, so newer versions found, so you can go ahead and download that. Probably take a minute to download. Okay, there we go. So let's launch the new version. I will have to extract, extract this one as well. Okay, so here's the new version. Okay, so the serial port is correct. It's, it auto detects the correct serial port. Uh, the max bout needs to be at 57,600. Um, and then you need to open the code. So if we were to be using it with the 48 volt, this is the one. If it was with the 52 volt, then we need to use this one. Um, if we want to unlock it, uh, then you can go ahead and open a support ticket and our support team will send you the correct firmware for that. Um, but let's go ahead and try 52 volt for now. The input IRC frequency needs to be at 18.432. 
the LVD detect level needs to be at 3.86. And uh, the next step is to check MCU. It will stop at this screen, check MCU. Um, go ahead and at this point, connect the battery. and turn the battery on. Perfect, it's completed. Go ahead and turn the battery off again. And now we need to click on download slash program. And it should be stuck again. And once again, we turn the battery on, it should start moving. So now it's putting the new firmware onto the controller. and it's completed. Now you can turn off the battery and close this out. And that's how you flash a controller. Once again, if you liked the video, uh, give us a thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching.